Hey friends, in this video I will show you how you can update the attribute value for multiple users in Active Directory. Suppose if you are working in any organization and your manager says that to update the user attributes like email addresses for multiple users or bulk users you can say or update the department or location or like home pages as well. So how you can do it? What are the way? Either you can do it manually one by one in Active Directory users computer snapping or you will use a PowerShell. Uh, so PowerShell provides a better way which you can use it and you can uh, update the value attribute value for multiple users. So what exactly is required for updating the value? First you require the username a list of users where you want to update the value and the value which you which you want to update like email addresses or department or something else in in our scenario what we will do we will just create a csv file where we will uh, as, uh, we will edit the username in one column and uh, email address in second column and i will mention a, like same account name and email addresses so because we are just updating only email addresses so how how we will do it how we will create the csv so currently i've just created an uh, excel sheet or csv file where we have just mentioned these all details so just i'm going to open it uh, now you can see in the one column i just mentioned uh, same account name and in the second column i just mentioned um, mail addresses so this is the way which you can use to create the csv file now i will show you in the active directory before updating the value so we need to just cross check the attributes either that is blank or something is written so currently this this is blank so we just want to update the email address attributes in uh, users property so this is the first user now you can see in the second user similarly uh, this is blank so now we will see how uh, how we can create the PowerShell. So well, just I'm going to open the PowerShell ISC. Even you can use it PowerShell as well but because this is my favorite um, PowerShell uh, windows where I just I can edit the value and even I can um, run a specific line of uh, PowerShell script as well. So I'm always try to use um, this PowerShell ISC windows only. So because I just already created the PowerShell for this all uh, settings so I will just copy it and I will paste it on my window over here. Uh, now you can see this is the PowerShell. So in the first line import dash module active directory it is just importing the active directory over here. Now it's just creating a variable attrib csv and the value for this variable is import dash csv and because this is a command powershell command that will just import the csv file i just by mistake i just copied somewhere else so now and uh, import dash csv this is a, a powershell command that will import the csv file from this path this is the path which i just created to uh, to save my uh, CSV file so it will just import the uh, import the CSV and it will put it on attrib CSV variable now it will run the for each loop so uh, it will just go one by one uh, in this CSV file because this CSV file is stored in this variable so it will go one by one till last so this is the for each loop now this is an active directory command it will just fetch the identity from this uh, user variable and uh, it will take the same account name if you will go inside the uh, this csv file so you can see this is the same account name so uh, it will just fetch the same account name and then it will set the properties uh, email address this is an attribute and it will just take the mail from this uh, csv file and then it will set this value so now i will just execute it this has been executed successfully now i will go 
on dsa.msc now i will verify it again see this email address has been updated even you can see this has also been updated so this is the way which you can follow to create to update the user attributes uh, if you have user details and email addresses which you want to update so so uh, so now this has been updated in active directory users computers as well now uh, how you will uh, get this uh, powershell command so currently i just updated this powershell on my website infoelias.com as well here you can just log in uh, you can go on the infoelias.com and uh, like uh, info elias.com here you can go through and you can see the post which i just updated updating bulk user properties with powershell so i just given an example of uh, csv file how you can create and once you create so you can use this powershell command to update the email address of the user so you need to just change the same account name as per your requirement as per your organizations how you have created this is just for example which i just uh, given over here and uh, here i just given the email address for the user where you want so when you are updating so you must be careful before updating any attribute value for your organization so first you need to just cross check with a single account and then if you are able to update the value then you can gradually go for multiple user accounts attribute updations thank you for watching this video